Hey Bling Crew, welcome back to our channel for Bling Your Things. My name is Shannon and today I'm going to show you how to bling and crystallize another Inkjoy gel pen. This one is going to be in a candy cane pattern, perfect for the holidays. So stick around and I'm going to show you everything that you need to get started from glue to stone size and a few things in between. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. So one of the first things that you're going to need to get started is one of my favorite pens to do rhinestone patterns on, and that is an Inkjoy gel pen. For this one, I'm using a pen that is already the color red. You can paint your Inkjoy gel pens, um, but for me, I prefer to use pens that are already the same color of the stones that I'm going to be using. The reason that I like using the pen that matches my stone color is because it's going to help blend in any gaps that I end up having in between the stones. So to get started, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this little clip on the top of the pen. I'm just using a pair of pliers and then giving the pen a quick twirl to um, break the, the connection at the pen. And then I'm just going to use a nail file as well as a piece of sandpaper to go ahead and sand down um, the little lip that's left after the clip. You could also use um, like a box cutter or, um, or a carpenter's knife to kind of shave this little piece off. Um, but it's really not that big, so it's really simple to just go ahead and sand it down. After I get all that done, then I'm just going to go ahead and finish sanding the whole pen. I'm going to sand down that section so that it's flush and then I'm going to switch over to a piece of sandpaper so that I can sand the whole pen um, a little bit quicker. You don't have to do anything crazy. You just want to take that top layer of shine off the pen as well as roughen up the surface so that your glue has something to attach to. I do like to take apart my pens before I start sanding on them. Um, the next step is going to be to clean the pen with some rubbing alcohol that just makes sure that you get off any of the dust as well as oils from your fingers. Um, we are going to be using size SS10 rhinestones. These are our diamond cut flat back rhinestones in the color Siam and in the color Crystal. I will leave a link below to all of the products that we're using today. The glue that we're using is Fusion Tack Adhesive. This is a white glue that dries clear. You need to allow one hour for it to dry and then it is maximum strength after 24 hours and then water resistant after 72. So just keep that in mind if you're making these um, to sell to a customer. You do need to allow a couple more days after you complete it for the glue to cure completely before you send it out to them. You want to make sure that you get, you know, full adhesion of your rhinestones um, before you ship it out to a client. I'm going to apply my glue with a 5 ml syringe as well as a 20 gauge blunt tip needle. This is the pink ones. Um, I like to use these because I have more control over where I'm going to be applying my glue as well as how much glue I'm going to be using. Next, I'm going to go ahead and get started applying the rhinestones. Um, I do like to squeeze out a little bit of glue onto a paper towel before I get started, just so I can see, you know, practice the control of how much glue is coming out, as well as making sure that, you know, it's not clogged up or anything like that, um, as well as making sure that the tip of my needle is clean. So, I'm going to start applying it to the end of the pen. I'm just going to do one row, my base row first, since this is a honeycomb design. It's very, very, very important to make sure that your base row is straight. If you don't get this base row straight, then you're setting yourself up to where your lines are not going to be straight throughout the rest of the pen. So I apply a little bit of glue. You don't need a whole lot. You do not want the glue oozing out around the sides of your rhinestones. This is going to cause your rhinestones to become cloudy um, and it's going to dull the shine from them. So take your time, apply a little bit of glue, use the end of the syringe to spread it out so that it's flat. If you end up where you see that you have like mounds of glue, then you have too much. Um, 
go ahead and, and take a little bit of it off and then go ahead and start applying your rhinestones for this one like i said we're going to be doing a candy cane pattern um we i do have a pattern that a printable pattern that i made for this design um it is available on our website for immediate download i will leave a link to this um, in the for you in the description below um, so you could just go to our website and download that if you would also like to make this pattern. Um, I have several other patterns for pens and tumblers um, that are on there as well. Using a pattern like this is great if you're just starting out um, and you're not sure how to do like the stone placement or maybe you're having a little bit of creator's block and you're not sure what to do um, and you just want something to you know kind of follow along and get that spark going back again. Um, so continuing with applying the stones when I'm putting this first row on I'm not I want the row to be straight but I'm not going to be like too concerned just putting them on and making this row exactly straight quite yet um, after I get all of the stones on then what I'm gonna do and I'll show you here in a second is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna place the pen flat down on the desk and then I'm going to use the end of my pickup tool and I'm going to push the stones down against that surface. So that's going to make sure that I get all of the rhinestones lined up at the exact same place. So this is really simple to do. Just put the pen down um, on, you know, on your desk or whatever surface you're working in as long as it's flat and then use the edge of your pickup tool and just push the rhinestones down you know you don't got to use a whole lot of force just a little bit um, and then push them all down so that they are level with the table so then the first time the first couple times that you do this it might take a little bit of getting used to as well um, it's okay to just take your time um, you know trying to line everything up again like i said this row is the most important so as you can see now, that first top row, none of the stones are hanging over the edge, but all of them are straight. So then I will go ahead and I'm going to leave the pen upside down um, and I'm going to give the glue a few minutes to dry. After it's dried, then I'm just going to continue on down the rest of the pen, um, working in sections. So I'll apply a little bit of glue so that I have enough to work on um, you know a couple rows at a time and then I'll go ahead and I'll place all those stones and then I'll make sure that my lines um, you know each row that I'm keeping my line straight and then I'll just keep going down um, the rest of the pen and in this pattern we are creating a design that kind of gives the appearance that it swirls around the pen so what I'm doing is I'm keeping the same pattern the stones for each row are the exact same pattern but i'm shifting my starting point over um, to the center of the row before so i'm just creating like a like a spiral design and it's really easy to do that by just shifting your pattern over one stone on the next row that you start on So now that we have a few rows done, you can start to see that the design is taking the appearance that we want um, and it is looking quite nice. Our first several rows are all straight and then I'm just going to go ahead and continue on doing that same pattern through the rest of the pen and then I will go ahead and speed up the video and then show you a few other tips and tricks at the end. Um, again, I will place links to all of the products. Um, that I used in today's video. All of the rhinestones are from our website, blingyourthings.com. Um, we have everything that you need to get started as you know, glue, pickup tools, the shaker trays that you see in the video. Um, we have several kits available as well. So now that I'm down here to the end of the pen, this is where um, the last, I don't know, kind of tricky thing that you might encounter will come into. Um, when you get to the end of the pen, depending upon how tight you placed your stones, 
you might end up with um, 51 or 52 rows of rhinestones. With this pen, I only ended up with 51. I could potentially place a 52nd row, but if I did that, then my last row of rhinestones, they're going to hang over the little lip of the edge of the pen. And I don't want that because if they're hanging over the edge, then it's not going to work once I put the clicker back into the pen. Um, so I'm just going to have this last row right here where there's going to be a slight gap there at the end. Um, and you're not going to really see it once you put the clicker back in the pen. So it's, it's okay if you have this little gap at the end of your pen. Um, don't feel like you have to cover every single surface um, of the pen to have it completed. So here is where you can see that little bit of an edge that's there that's not covered up. And this is okay to have. And if you were to go ahead and place another rhinestone right there on the edge, you'll see that it would actually overlap. You're going to have a little bit of an overlap there at the edge. So it might look okay until you go to put the pen back together. So you don't want that. And plus, you wouldn't be able to get um, the same number of rhinestones onto that row because there's actually a little bit less space because it's curved right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that stone off. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the pen back together. Normally, I would not put the pen back together, you know, right away like this. Um, I would recommend letting your pen dry for at least an hour, maybe three or four, before you go ahead and put the pen back together um, and then, you know, screw everything back together because you're going to be using um, a little bit of force to do that. And I would hate to see you um, end up taking some of your rhinestones off because your glue's not completely dry. So then you just put the two clicker pieces back in, you put the ink piece back in, and then screw the end back on, and it is done. If you would like to duplicate this candy cane pattern for yourself, um, it is available, again, on our website, as well as the rhinestones that we used for this were size SS10. We used the colors Siam and the color Crystal. And then for the glue, we used Fusion Tack um, adhesive. It is a white glue that dries clear. It takes about an hour to dry, and then six to eight hours to dry completely. And 72 hours, it will be waterproof. I applied our glue with a 5, millimeter, 5 ml syringe and a 20 gauge blunt tip needle. And then I cleaned our pen with 70% isopropyl alcohol. And then I used just a wax tip pickup tool um, and everything came together nicely. If you do make this design, please join our Facebook group and we would love to see what you have created. Till next time, happy blinging and have a fantastic week.